I want to show you that InDesign is like such, such the mother hen. It's like always looking out for you. So down here, you might see that I have this little red light. <laughs> Some of you, this may really bother you to see this be red. Um, that means there's something going on that InDesign's like worried about. So what we can do is find out what's wrong. If we click this little down arrow right here, we can open what's called the pre-flight panel. And this is where um, we find all of these errors that InDesign might be warning us about. So here, it's saying, hey, you have a text error. And if I twirl that open, it's saying you have overset text on page one. Overset text is that red box where you've got more text than can fit. So I always have overset text because I'm often just working with, you know, lorem ipsum and I don't care. But um, you might want to fix that. So you can twirl that down, and it even tells you it's the text frame on page three. And if we click, it takes you right to the problem. So if we fix that, I don't know how much text is in here. Um, but you can, you can um, clear that out, and it would take care of it here. You can set up what you want it to warn you about. So if you're like, I never care about overset text, I always have overset text, I don't care, you can tell it to quit doing that. You can tell it to warn you if your images are in a certain color space, if they're below a certain effective resolution. You can tell it um, to just warn you about all kinds of things. That is called a pre-flight profile. So to create your own profile, you're gonna come up here to the panel menu and choose define profiles. And you don't have to do this. I mean, if you're just like casually dabbing, dabbling in um, InDesign, you don't have to. But if you're the person who's like, I can't stand this little red light, and I always do things this way, you can tweak this. So you can go in um, and give this, you know, uh, click plus down here, create a new one. My awesome profile. And then uh, you might have different profiles for different projects. You can come down here and um, open up like your link options, things you want it to warn you about links, about color stuff, text, etc. And then you save it. We click OK. And then here in that pre-flight panel, you select it. Which profile do you want to be the one active? You select your awesome profile, and now it's going to give you error messages or a green light based on that profile. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.